Alright guys, welcome back to our Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. So right now, what our goal is, to, it, well, it's to rebuild the city, right? Way up in the north that I can never know, I never know how to pronounce. Uh, but we're going to work on building a forge there, because I think that's going to make us the most amount of money, I, or at least make us more money. Uh, so we're going to build a forge, and then we're going to try to get one of the uh, blacksmiths from Sasau to... Um, to go support it. We also, I think a brewery would also bring in a lot of wealth as well. Uh, so we currently have 10K gold. If you guys remember, we sold at the end of the last episode. So that should be enough to build everything. So what we're gonna do is, um, well, let's, let's get pebbles. We're gonna go, uh, for a forge, we need to get a, um, or should we do the brewery? I don't know. I'm starting to think we should maybe do the brewery. But there is a um, Gallo Hill charcoal location that we can go to, um, you know, to uh, supply our, our city. I don't know how this works. There's another charcoal from Ginger's Charcoal Burner Friends. Um, got stone over in Townburg. We have grain in Ushits. So we'll definitely look. I don't know how much this stuff is going to cost and how much we need to do, like, use to supply. But let's see, there's grain and livestock over there. There's livestock. Okay, let's just, um, let's go see what this, what happens. Again, I don't know how much it's going to cost to supply the village. I, I really don't know. Um, but we'll see. And we'll go to the nearest location, which of course is the charcoal. So where is that? Let's see. We got to go, we got to go this way. I think it was like H. Yeah. Hopefully it's not a crazy amount of money. Like, oh, it's gonna cost you ten thousand. You know, no. <laughs> I want to build a, a a forge and have a blacksmith work there. You know, dang it. But it is nice. At least like we have one building that's making money. It we're still in the red. Um, because we have so many buildings that require maintenance. But hopefully these charcoal burners will make life a little bit easier. We'll supply some charcoal. We'll get a forge up. We'll get a blacksmith. And we'll make big bucks. That is the plan. Big bucks. Hopefully. Here we go. This should be it right here. Hello, charcoal. Charcoal burners. Good to see ya. All right, who do I need to talk to? Not you. I just love the fact that I could tell Mutt to attack whoever I want. Charcoal burner. Charcoal burner. Isn't there like a spokesperson? Let me just talk to one of them. What do you need? Have you got charcoal for sale? Charcoal? No. We've got linen. Want to buy linen? All right, very funny. You have no charcoal? <laughs> of course we've got charcoal. What do you think we have in them? What do you need it for? For the Pribislavitz blacksmith. What are you on about? He's been dead for years. No, 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 the new one. The village has been renewed. Is that so? Nobody tells us nothing. So, will you sell me some? Why not? How much? How much do you need? At least five bags a week. Hmm. We could manage that. And how will you get it there? I've got a merchant to take care of supplies. Well, as Do we? long as he can drive Do here and find us, what do you say to this price? Uh, 220? Uh, okay. I'll take it. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> as soon as your merchant gets here, we'll load it up. See you later. All right. So I think we have charcoal. Uh, I think, I think that's... I guess you can kind of shop around for the best prices and stuff, but um, no need to do that. So now that we have that, I guess we could try to go to, we could travel to Sasau and get some grain. And then, does anybody have some grain here? Then we can go to Townburg and get some stone. It's pretty cheap, you know? 200 gold's nothing. I think it costs what eight thousand, eight thousand to get the um, the thingy mabobber up, the forge up. But yeah, we'll head to 
We'll now head to uh, Sasau and get some grain over. I, like, what happens if... Maybe we shouldn't, because, like, what happens if we don't need it? Does it just go nowhere? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's the great dilemma. But that's okay. We can go to Sasau anyways, and um, yeah, just travel to the to the city from there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. An ambush, nice. Let's fight. I'll slay you. Slay me. Who goes there? Show yourself. I'll oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's got some good stuff. You'll get what for. Oh, come on. This guy's tough as hell. God, if I have to fight like more than one of these guys, I'm screwed. But He's low. Come on, dude. You asked for it. Fuck. There we go. Hey, and there's the the combo. All right. Oh, 22 Groshin. He's got some good stuff, I would say. Oh yeah, 400 silver ring. Ooh. Silver Spurs. Dude. Thank you. And then uh, we'll just take um, our extra stuff here and drop it off. All right, we made it back to town. Uh, it is very late, though. So we'll just, um, I guess, go to bed here. We are quite hungry. It's such a long trip to get here. It's so far away. But it looks like things are doing well here. Things are going well. Uh, we have charcoal now to our city. Let's go eat some food while we're here. We could probably sleep here too. I can't imagine there's not a bed for us here. All right, so we're making negative 525 gold. What the heck? Why? Oh, because of the charcoal, that's why. Hmm. I wonder if there's like... Well, I wonder if there was cheaper charcoal somewhere else. But let's build the forge. What are we missing? Ah. We don't have 8,000, but I will move. Uh, I was like, wait, 5,000? Hold on, we have more than that. We will move all but a thousand gold. And let's go ahead and build the forge. And I think there's some like upgrades to the forge we can do. Forge. Or maybe not. Maybe this is it. Uh, okay. Here we go. Ready? Build. Marius, there's work to be done. Get your lazy ass up. Oh yeah, there's a bed for me right there. Which is good because I need to sleep off my injuries. Come along with me then. We'll start building. Come on, Marius. Time to build a forge. We're gonna build here? Indeed. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. Let's do it. A few days later. 
Ah, there it is. Now, I don't think those are the blacksmiths I want working there. Pretty sure I'll want different ones. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. That's now done, so I'm gonna make my way up uh, to the rat house and see how much money we're making now, now that we have a uh, blacksmith. God, the village is coming together nicely. This is so cool. Let's see, ready? Ooh, very nice. 500 gold. Fantastic. That is really good. So if we go to tavern, that's what I meant, a tavern. We need grain and stone. Grain in stone. That's going to be our next objective. We need 8,000. We're currently, right now, we've got 6,000. Got 1,200 on me. So, we're going to have to make some more money. Um, actually, you know what? You know what we should do? Where's Mutt? Give him some attention. Give him some praise. Good boy. We don't need a ton more money. Let's give him food. I've got your love. Here, smoke sausage. Enjoy, you rascal. Um, how's our um sleep here? Oh, Houndmaster. Yes, and a new perk. The faithful companion. Your dog is your faithful companion. You get plus ten obedience bonus immediately every time your dog runs off and returns to you again. Dog can sniff out a foe much greater distance. With your dog, you can hunt. Uh, yeah, let's get the hunting. That'll be useful. And am I tired? I guess I am a little bit. Not really. I'm just gonna go. But where am I going? Oh, I need to get stone. So, and then hopefully there's like some bandits along the way. But yeah, we're gonna stop at Townburg to get some stone. And we can go over here to get some grain. That would be useful. All right, here we are. We made it safe and sound. Nobody attacked us. Oh, we're here for stone. So we want to talk to, okay. So it's A. Go get some stone. And we might want to ask around, you know, and, and figure out where's the, the, you know, the most inexpensive stone and stuff like yeah. that. Hopefully this stone isn't like super expensive. I'm hoping it's going to be around the same yeah. as uh, the charcoal. So, do you ladies have stone? Oh, that's cool. What are you staring at? I'm glad to see you. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divish. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. With the oh, I? That's Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Privis Labbits. Trust me to take me chain to take charge. charge. Along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need then? Well, we've started with stone. the construction work, but we need more than just timber. You need exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now. You're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. Sir Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. Yay. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. <laughs> 4K? The stone is for Sir Divish. 
It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. Oh, that's still too much. But I can't sell my stone any cheaper. I wouldn't be able to pay my men. If you won't accept the price, we're done. 3k now. Alright, we're gonna have to come back then. Alright, well... <laughs> we might have to wait here a little bit to get a tavern. Because, jeez, that's expensive. That is extremely expensive. So, in the meantime, uh, we can go and... We still need to go to Sasau and talk to the blacksmith there. Uh, because they have an extra blacksmith. And maybe that will greatly increase our... Our income. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, dang it. That's okay. We have a place to sleep in, in that area. Ah, here we go. We should probably go to the bathhouse. Uh, our equipment is very dirty. Now it's raining. All right, so now we need to go to the this really skilled blacksmith. And I hope that will put us in the positive. We want to go over here, correct? And there's the bathhouse over there. Alright. So we're kind of back where we were. Yeah. Alright. Blacksmith in Sasau. I wonder if there's like, we can find people for every building type, not just a blacksmith. I hope I can be of some. Uh, okay. There's no dialogue here, so. The only thing I can think of is. Maybe there's another location. Where there's. Yeah, there is another. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Okay. Yeah. All right, here's the other blacksmith. Hopefully, we can get him to go to our city. Zach? I hope I can be of help to you. I'd like to make you an offer. Have you heard about Pribis Lovitz? Don't bother me now, young fella. I've got that sneaky fucker Otter to deal with. Of course, we gotta deal with someone else. God be with you. Ota? This guy? No? I don't, I, I don't. What? Let me let me ask him about it. I'm honored that a knight such as you. Yes. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, what? So I can't. I can't talk to him about it. I'd like to make you an offer. Have you heard about Prip? Don't bother me now, young fella. I've got that sneaky fucker Otter to deal with. O Otta? Otta? I don't even know what. Okay, guys, so uh, I did some research because I just couldn't figure it out. Uh, we have to progress a little bit more in the main story to get him to work at our um, our blacksmith or our forge. So um, we're going to have to pass on that. I think in the meantime, while we're here in Sasau, we might as well go talk to this guy and hunt some brigands and get some more loot. We're going to um, then, you know, take that loot, trade it and potentially buy more buildings to increase our revenue uh we can upgrade our forge uh, either to a swordsmith or an armorer i think i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it to an armorer that way we can get zach who we just talked to earlier and get him to uh to work at the armory which i think he'll increase our total income for the the forge by 70 gold so that's pretty good that's pretty good if you ask me. Let's go see if there's some enemies for us to fight. Also, I think, oof, you know, now that I think about it, our armor might be pretty banged up. So let's see if there's anything we can repair here. Oh yeah.
Okay, well, we repaired it quite a bit, so that's good. And where is this guy? Is this you up here? No. Is he down here? Seems like he's down here. Uh, hello? No, he's... I think he's upstairs. I'm here to kill some brigands. Is this you? Yes. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in- No worries. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were fighting with a monk? A monk? I've no- Uh, this is not- not the person we need to talk to. My bad. Uh, I guess upstairs? Is it you? It might be you. I hope I can be of some humble service. I've come from Captain Rose. There it is. And what might the captain be wanting to let me know? I'm not a messenger. I've nothing to report. The captain thought I could lend you a hand. Oh, so it's you. The hero of Tomberg. So be it. If you succeed, I'll gladly reward you. And if you don't, I won't be shedding any tears. We know that one of their encampments is on the hill by Skelets, nearby the mines. I'll take a look there. Okay. Take care now. There's some bandits. Kill the camp leader. Sweet. This shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. We have to go to Skelets. It's way up here. But it's close by. Over here, so that's good. Okay, uh, let's get on our horse and fast travel. Man, like, it's taking a while to travel to all these places. Okay, let's go to Scalets. Oh, there's a skirmish here. Oh, we know what that means. We know what that means. Loot upon loot. Looks like we got... Oh, this is the beginning of it. Let him fight it out a little bit. Oh, there's a trader. A couple traders here. Whoa. Why do they all want to attack me? Hold on. I'm stuck in the bushes. Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna get all our money. Please fight each other. No. God, they love to fight me, huh? There we go, we killed one. Alright, we gotta land some combos here. Everybody just hates everyone. God. Alright, well there's a combo, but we got interrupted. Please look at a different target. What the hell was that? Guys, fight each other, please. What? Is that all you've got? You know, I should honestly just wait until there's a victor. I guess in my head, I was like, I should just jump in there while they're busy fighting each other, but they end up wanting to fight me. How smart are you? 
Uh, why are you? Great, now I'm bleeding. Sword leveled up. Woo! Alright, let's deal with some stuff here. First off, we've got Vitality up, which is up to 12 now. The Berserker, as soon as you know, last gasp, survival of the fatal blow. Only active once in combat. Your health does not render your health will regenerate gradually. Doesn't apply during combat. Uh yes, let's do that. Okay. There's a guy over here, so let's go kill him real quick before he gets away. Because I want as much loot as possible. No 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 no. Get them, Lado. <laughs> Okay, is that everyone? Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and stop the bleeding now. Yeah, we have so much stuff. Okay, we're done. Now we're gonna gradually gain health. So this is what we're gonna do. Because we're limited on how much we can carry, we're gonna take, obviously, the Groshan and the most expensive stuff that he has. We're gonna take all that. I would like I would like to take everything. Let's say let's have a rule here: two hundred or more. So let me take the sword too. They're gonna have two hundred or more. Uh, ooh, nobleman. Yes, take the hat. This guy has some nice clothes. So what I'm gonna do, guys, because this is not the most exciting thing, I'm just going to go through this quickly, and um show you everything I have once I'm done okay guys so I uh, looted the most expensive stuff uh, some of the stuff I mean there might be like better stuff than what we have like it's kind of crazy but yeah you can see a lot of the stuff 2k 700 800 500 I did get some cheaper stuff as well but yeah I don't really see anything that is better than what we have. Oh, wait. No, this is better. Oh, yeah. This is a lot better. I don't know about a lot better, but we're definitely going to put that on. Look at us. We're looking awesome. This is better as well. We'll put this on. Oh, yeah. Look at us. So good. Uh, this is not as good, but this is cool looking. Um, this is a noble one. It's worth about the same. There's a little bit more defense, but what we have now is good. Uh, we did, I guess this is considered stealing. We're just going to move that to the horse. Uh, that was the 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 um, traders, their clothes. They have really fancy clothes. I guess we could sell that to the, um, I don't know, like a tailor or something. Well, let's go ahead and move as much as possible over to the horse. Try to lighten the load here a little bit. Um, I'm going to look for like the heaviest stuff here. Like this looks pretty heavy. These definitely are heavy. Ah, horse can't carry anymore. Okay. That's a problem because we still have a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Um, dang. Dang. I'm curious though, how, where are we exactly? Are we near a city? Not really. This is about the same place we got attacked last time. So, just for my sanity, I'm just going to drop stuff that is not worth a ton. So, let's see. Let's look for stuff that are less than, see, this is, this weighs a lot and it's not worth that much. So, if we just drop it. Yeah, we're, I think that's just what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to look for things that are like like this one right here. 77 gold. Just drop it. Oh, wait. No, that's ours. <laughs> Hold on. That's our clothes. Put that back on. Okay, so I had to do some moving around. But basically, 
I dropped all the stuff that's like 200 or less, somewhere around there, around the 200 range. And we do have a couple stuff here. I mean, most of it's like 1,500 or more. Um, but yeah, uh, you can see all in here. This is all 500, 400. We got a couple stuff in here that are not worth that much, but uh, that's, yeah, that, that should be good. We should make a considerable amount of money here. <laughs> okay. Someone's gonna come across this and be like, oh my god, jackpot. So, now that we have all this, I'm actually, I'm going to skip on the bandit thing. I'm actually going to go back over here to our village. We should have enough money to upgrade the forge, and hopefully that puts us at a net positive. And, um, a corpse. Let's just avoid that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that puts us at a positive in terms of uh, cash flow or whatever, so we can start making money and not have to worry about having, uh, you know, a ton of money in the chest. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can upgrade here. Hopefully it's not like, oh, it requires more charcoal. I would not be surprised. Uh, let's see, improvement one or two. So we want to do an armor smith, correct? So let's do improvement two. So that's going to be F. I've decided what to build. Get up. <laughs> I know it's raining, but we need to improve the forge. Come along with me then, and we'll start building. Let's go. We're going to build. Here we are. Here. Indeed. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have. Hmm. We've still got the. All right. Upgrade. Upgrade Arena. Nice. We're now making armor. That's cool. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, that's cool that you can like upgrade and pick. Now, can we upgrade both? I wonder. We're gonna head back up. So we've upgraded that. Let's see how much more money we're making now. And I'm so glad we didn't need more charcoal. Please be positive, please be positive. Yes. We are making 225 gold. That is perfect. That's fantastic. Um, how much gold do we have in here? 4K, that's perfect. Um, okay, um, well, let's figure out what we want to build next. We're going to build one more structure before we wrap up the episode. Um, basic structure, labor. So you can see, like, the rat house is going to cost us money to build, you know? Like that's gonna cost it, that's, that requires upkeep. We need to look at things that are gonna make us money. A bakery, all we need is grain. Okay, and it's only 4K, it's 4,200. A butcher, we need livestock. Okay, and then uh, for the stables we need grain. Okay, well, let's build, yeah, the freaking, Oh my god, the bakery's gonna make us so much money? So... And then we can upgrade the drying shed, which is gonna make us, uh, even more money. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, look, we can make honey cakes, because we did, um... That's why it can make so, it makes us so much money, because we have honey. But yeah, we'll get the drying shed, and that will increase that even more. Okay, let's go get some grain. Grain can't be that expensive. It, it just can't. Actually, you know what? How much money do we have on us right now? We got 1.5. I'm going to actually take some money here. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, the grain costs a little bit of money. So we'll leave like half of it. We'll leave half. Okay. And since we're positive, we're net positive. It shouldn't be a problem. And then we are going to make our way to the nearest grain location. Which I think is right there. Is there grain over here? Livestock. Livestock. What's up here? This is grain. This is actually the closest location. 
So yeah, we can go here. Um, or not. There we go. So we'll go there and then um, I guess we'll head to Townburg to sleep and then from Townburg we'll go to Rate. And we will... Oh man, he's going to be sleeping, isn't he? We're, we're going so far away. That kind of sucks. If we don't get attacked here, this is going to be a miracle. Okay, I think we will make it just in time. Alright, let's see. Grain is over here. Go to the grain. Here it is. Oh, he must be chilling at the, uh, the tavern. Bailiff. Joseph. Villager. Which one is it? Is it you? Is it the bailiff? Good health. I want to buy grain for... Yeah. I'd like to buy some grain. Grain? What do you want grain for? I'm responsible for the rebuilding of Pribis Lovitz. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. How many bushels do you want? I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. It won't be cheap. But even though it's for Sir Divish's village. Aye. Unless he sets the allocations himself. I have to make up, and you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? I've yes. Got All these dialogues are pretty yeah. similar. Here's my off. 160? Yeah. Uh, well, that's I... cheap. May the Lord okay, that's nowhere near is what the stone was going to be. Okay, perfect. So now we have grain. Let's go to Townbird. Townburg. It's going to be pretty late, but we'll get there before morning and get some sleep. Who knows, maybe we'll get attacked along the way. It looks like that's what's gonna happen. Please, peasants, avoid. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. I got a lot to do, okay? And while we're here... Oh. Sir Divish? Oh, Robert. Robard. So while we're here, I might buy the stone. You know, might as well. We might be able to get it somewhere cheaper, but whatever. We'll just buy it here. I think we have enough. And then we will then go to Rate. Sell all of our equipment. Well, I don't know. Now that I think about it, we got to be careful because we don't want to spend too much. Yeah, let's just stop with the grain. We'll get stone later. Here, wake up now. Wake up early because we have a long way to go. We got to travel to Rate. Yeah, so we're going to travel to Rate, sell our, all our garbage, and then we should be able to um, buy a... Oh, pebbles? We should be able to buy a... Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? A bakery. A bakery and also a uh, stables. And that's both going to make us money. It's going to be awesome. We'll see our options. But yeah, let's travel there now. And here we are. Alright, we'll start with um, selling the swords. And let's see if there's any um, swords. Yeah, there is. Swords. I think that's it. Let's talk trade. Oh man, I always forget. I need to like repair myself after, because it takes a couple days to build in that in that town. All right, let's talk trade. We are going to sell. I always keep one dagger. Oh, none of these swords are better than what I have, right? I don't think so. The piercer's good at well piercing. All right, 600 gold right there. That's pretty good, so we'll take it. And thank you for that. And then the big money over here. Now, this guy should still have like 7,000 left. So he should be able to buy everything that we have. All right, 
Move to inventory. And we won't sell... I'm going to not sell the clothes stuff to him. And see if we can uh, make some good money from that. Good night. I may serve you. Uh, let's talk trade. Okay, well, with everything in the basket, it's 7.8k. So let's close the deal. That's going to put us above 10k, I believe. But we're not done yet. Um, we still have some stuff to sell. So we're going to go to the tailor and sell the clothes. God save you. And let's talk trade. Good luck, babe. Okay, it's not much, but it adds up 249. Uh, yeah, we'll certainly take that. And we'll go ahead and repair our stuff and get ready to go back to our beautiful village. Take care. Oh, okay. We got interrupted by an armed man on our way back to... Oh. Hey there, Goodman. Looks like he wants to duel. Yeah, that's what? right. We'll do it. I'd like to challenge you to a duel, <laughs> sir. A little amicable combat. We look so awesome now. Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. I Good way to amicable. train up. Let's get to it. Let's train. Oh, crap. Hold on. Come here, Lily. There we go. Nice. Just trying to land that combo I learned, You're you know? Dead. Ah! Yeah. Good move, good move. Good move. Damn. Ah, he's stronger than me. I think that's funny. Good move, good move. Come here. Murka. Come on. Get closer. Now, I know it shows, like, where to angle, where to attack. Um. Here we go. I knocked him out. <laughs> was not very honor honorable of me. But. He's got some nice stuff here. It's really not that oh yeah he's got some good stuff here uh should i should i should i i think i should <laughs> oh that's funny bollocks um i guess we're killing him i didn't expect him to wake up i you know what I'm just gonna run away. Uh, oh god, what is this? I misclicked. No! What? Okay. 
Is that a We're done here. I'm letting you go. I already robbed you of everything. Yeah. Alright. We're out. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna kill the poor man, but I will take his stuff. Look, I'm building a city. He's gotta understand, you know? Alright, we just gotta get far enough away. <laughs> That's so funny. God. I just didn't expect him to get up so quickly. Alright, let's move, um... Some armor. To the horse. This is all considered stolen, so... We should move all the... Stolen gear to the horse. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're out of- we're out of range. We can now fast travel. Okay, we're almost there. Alright! <laughs> We've made it after dealing with the, uh, poor knight who just wanted good practice yeah. and ended up being robbed by me. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Look, I, if I didn't knock him out, you know, I guess I could have waited for him to get up and that would have been the more fair thing to do, but... Oh well. Alright, it's time to build a bakery. Alright, uh, let's see, where is this? Bakery, bakery, let's build it. What are we missing? Ah, money, that's right. Uh, oh yeah, I always forget, I'm like, we have more groschen than that. Uh, let's hey. put it... Hey. It's my chest, well, our chest. All right, that's put in the chest, and now we will, um, build. Marius, there's work to be done. Come on, get up. Build the bakery. We might even be able to build something after this. All right. I'll Follow me. The labor. Come with me. Come with me. Okay. I'm so glad he runs, you know? Is it right here? Where are we putting the bakery? Must be down here. It's becoming a village, guys. I mean, it's getting there. And pretty soon, we're going to be able to build up the church and everything like that. Once the cash flow really starts coming in, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. We're going to build here? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quick. Mm. All good. Here we go. The bakery is complete. How delightful. What a cool job that would be. Just be a baker. Make awesome pretzels and bread. Mmm, delicious. So that's going to up our economy quite a lot. Uh, we're going to upgrade it too because the upgrade is pretty cheap. And that's going to put us, if we look at it here, that's going to put us, um, we're already making almost 400. I don't know like how often we make this, you know, village income. All right, so we got to get the village income to 1,200. But we will get there for sure. Now, it is going to be expensive once we upgrade the church and stuff because it's going to cost more of the maintenance. But let's, yeah, improvement one. So this is going to be a drying shed. And this provides cakes for the tavern. I've decided what to decided. build. Good. Let's get building. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. So this will just be a cheap, easy upgrade. Not super cheap, but you know what I mean. Oh, we got livestock over here? I didn't get any live. Who brought the livestock? Oh, please go around the cows. Please figure it out. Okay, I was like, oh, if the game glitches out here, I'm going to be so upset. 
So upset. All right. Okay. We're going to build here. Right here. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quickly Hmm. All good. Dude, what what does this look like? Oh, nice. Okay. It's just a place to store the stuff. Pretty cool. Drying and smoking. Drying and smoking are very useful means of preserving food. Later consumption. It works the same for cooking. Simply place meat, fruit, and other foods in the dryer and smokehouse to preserve it. All right. Very cool. We can preserve food now. So what does that put our treasury at? 7K. And let's not forget, we got a bunch of stuff on us. So we could probably build another thing. So let's look at the next thing that's going to increase our... Um monies so the butcher uh, is actually a pretty considerable considerable amount uh, it's only 4,200 and then we can get a smokehouse and that will increase it to 390 stables ooh stables is pretty good um, 5,000 that will hmm. well I mean four let's see Guardhouse. Guardhouse is 5,000. We have enough, but we need a tavern for a guardhouse, which we don't have the tavern yet. Um, we do have the traders here. The tavern is going to cost 8,000. Is there anything else that we can build that will make us money? No. Okay, so the only buildings we need to build... And this stuff's all going to stack once we build everything is well this is gonna the guardhouse is gonna make us money uh i don't know how but it is uh the stables is, uh, i think the next thing we need to build is the butcher and all we have to do is get some livestock so let's go do that and sell our equipment and i guess we'll feed mutt here where are you going mutt what are you doing here have some food what i've got for your love have some bacon He's eating, he's eating like a king now. So what's the total amount we're making now per thing? 480. That's pretty good. Well, we can get that up. Those are rookie numbers. 480. All right, next up is the butcher. And we need livestock. So where is the closest livestock? Looks like livestock is going to be... Oh, livestock. And then I think there's livestock over here as well. Yeah. Okay. And then what is stone, right? That's the only place we can get stone. All right, well, let's get livestock over here. I guess we should be checking each price and like writing down like how cheap we can get it or whatever, but I don't know. Like maybe we should have done that, but whatever. All right, so we made it into town. This is where we're going to get our livestock. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but... I don't know. I think everything that's not the stone is not too bad. Like a couple hundred. We got to go up this way. And again, you know, I, I guess there might be better locations that are a little bit cheaper. And I should take my time and check everywhere. Jesus Christ. Be I'd like to buy some livestock. Maybe. Cattle. Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the village of Pribislavitz. What? A whole village. A few dozen people. Well, no. Uh, but it can be done. Although, they might not be the best animals. What do you mean, not the best? Well, it's like this. I've got to supply meat for the Lord's Table, too. And the gentry in Ledechko want the best. So what's left for me, then? The animals might not be as good as what you'd get somewhere else. I'll sell you older beasts, ones that ain't so fat and the like. Or ones no one wants to buy, because they don't like the look of them. That's how it is. But for that, I'll give you all the better price. Have you got someone to herd the livestock there for you? I've got a merchant to arrange it. Huh. How much? 30? That's really cheap. Now, would I make more money? I don't think I would make more money depending on the quality, but I'll just... I'll just do it. Yeah. Agreed. Whatever. 
Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. But we got our meat, right? I guess we can't ever change it, can we? Oh wait, um, should we get some food? We probably should. Did anybody got uh just something cooking? I feel quite hungry. I know, Henry, I know. Okay, so now we go to Teresa's, because it's getting late, and we gotta get some sleep. And then we'll sell the stuff we have, and then we'll go back and we'll build the butcher. Alright guys, so we just sold all of our stuff. I went to the uh, huntsman over here to sell our bows and stuff. That puts us at 3.6. I think that's enough to build the butcher location. Uh, I'm not too certain, but I think so. Because I think it's, what, 5,000? And don't we have, like, 2,000 in the chest? I don't remember how much we have in the chest, but maybe we'll... I don't know. Maybe we'll get attacked or something along the way and we'll make more money somehow. Uh, but I guess we'll we'll head back and um, see if we can build it. So here we go. Well, we're back, guys. Uh, we were attacked on the road, but it was just a bunch of peasants. It really wasn't much of a fight. Uh, so let's get up here and see if we can build the butcher place. I forgot how much money we have in this chest. Uh, off the horse, please. So let's go look and see. Seven, oh, we have 7K. That's, that's right. We have plenty. We have plenty. All right, um, we'll move our Groshin. Remember, we we just leave like a thousand in, in our inventory. Dude, it's my chest, bro. Stop yelling at me. Ooh, we're making 510 gold now. Woo! Wow, wow, wee wow. So that's really good. That's really good. So let's build the bakery. Or, I'm sorry, the butcher. Um, we got everything, right? So, uh, what are we, what are we missing? Livestock? We got the money? Yeah. Can't be built with bakery. Ah! That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I just realized that. That's embarrassing. Well, uh, I guess we can build a stables? Yeah? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to build. And then we definitely want to build a tavern, because the tavern is what's going to make us a lot of money. We can't build it, though, because we need stone, and stone is fairly expensive, so we'll save that for the next episode. But yeah, uh, brewery, and then we can upgrade some dice games. And mead, excellent cakes. All right. Yeah, that's going to make us a ton of money. That's where the money's at. But for now, let's build a stables because that's going to make us money. And then we should have enough to upgrade it as well. So let's build this. Marius, there's work to be done. Come on, let's build it. You've decided. Yes. Let's get building. Get building. Let's do it, guys. Get to work. A few days later. More money. Look at that. I guess we didn't really need the livestock, huh? I don't really know. Maybe we could buy a horse from here, too. Maybe they got really good horses here. We'll find out. Stables have been built. Oh my god, dude. This village is coming together nicely. I think by next episode... Well, I don't know if we're going to finish it next episode, but we'll definitely have the tavern built next ep episode. So what? We need like three to 4,000 for the stone. Look at, the, look at this. Look at this. This once was a horrible place of bandits and humans. Now it's becoming a beautiful city. 
I got 6k guys, 6k. Yes, we're going to upgrade, so we're not done yet. We're gonna go to the stables and do a nice little upgrade. Hell yeah. And that's gonna put us plus 70 more gold. It's kind of expensive, but it will increase our income, so. There's work to be done. That shouldn't take too long. Come along with me and we'll take a look at the site. He's like, again? And we're still gonna have a ton of money. Jesus, right? Yeah, we have 6K in the chest, so minus two, so we'll have 4K. Um, with that 4K, we could buy the stone, but that's really pushing it. I think what we'll do in the next episode, we will um, we'll hunt down those brigands or whatever for Sasau. And that's how we're going to make our money. It's going to be pretty good. And also, let's not forget, this village is going to be making money as well. Look at it. People are coming here. They're loving it. We're going to build here? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check it. Mm. All good. Nice. So now we got someone who's going to build the saddles. This is cool. It's like a whole city that I didn't get to, to play with, you know, the first go through. <laughs> Pretty sweet. All right, man, we are just flying through the weeks. And I'm curious, what more can we build? I want to build. Certainly. We just have to build. Oh, yes. Just that and... Just the tavern. We've almost built everything. I'd rather not build. Almost built everything. So, guys, unfortunately, this is where we're going to rack up, rack up, wrap up the episode. Uh, we just need to rebuild the church, build a tavern, which I believe is going to go right there. And this town is about to be done. Uh, it's so close. It is so close. And we're going to make so much money off of this town. It's going to be fantastic. We really don't have to loot anymore after this. Uh, which is the crazy part and we're making 875 gold right now thanks to the stables the forge and the bakery especially the forge that was a great investment all we have to get now is stone and yeah we're gonna be looking golden uh, that's definitely what we're gonna build next is the um what do you call it the well, the guardhouse is going to be nice too, but you need the tavern to do it. So yeah, that's what we're going to build the tavern. So we need 8,000. This is going to going to require a lot of gold. Let's figure this out really quick. We need 8,000 plus the 3,000 for the stone. So that puts us at 11,000 plus 2,000. So that's 13. So 14,000 gold to build everything here that we need. So we're definitely going to have to go hunting, uh, killing some bandits and doing some trading. We got 4k in there. That's gonna hold people over. Let's not forget about that. We could just get 10k plus a 4k. We're gonna be good to go. Uh, and then the tavern will be built. Um, and then we can, I don't know. Just, I guess we gotta keep hunting and, and getting resources so we can finish the church and the, the rat house. Which uh, costs money to build. So guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining the, uh, me this episode. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. I enjoyed this so much. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.